Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Ava Max. Give it up. <laughs> so believe it or not, Baltimore is the dirt bike capital of the U.S. I did not know this, um, but for years, that's been a controversial title. Uh, dirt bikes are illegal on city streets, and many consider them a nuisance. That's where my next guest comes in. She's the founder of an organization that combines dirt bike culture with opportunities in STEM. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> She's also helping the city rethink and reimagine its connection to dirt bike culture. Please welcome the founder of B360, Brittany Young, everybody. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm um, so yeah, excited yeah. to have you. It's a brilliant way of really impacting your community in such a positive way and everyone's winning. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think a lot of people are surprised to learn Baltimore is the dirt bike capital. Can you explain the history of that? Because I'm from the South and I feel like dirt bikes were everywhere. So I would have figured it was like a Southern thing. I didn't know, I don't know. So I, that was just crazy <laughs> knowledge to learn. Thank you. Um, first, I'm just excited to be here. Um, but yes, most of our families are from the South in Baltimore and like a lot of major cities. Um, so as early as like the 70s, the motorbikes came to the U.S. And by the 80s, like Baltimore became like, you know, more black, but we were integrated from the South. Um, we were riding dirt bikes in the parks. And then by the early 2000s, it was outlawed actually to ride in parks, which forced people into city streets. Mm -hmm. um, and then for me, what I really saw was a lot of riders fixing and repairing their bikes, having a skill set, and then dirt bike riders believing in like bikes up, guns down as a mantra of moving forward. Oh. And then by 2015, following the Freddie Gray uprising, there was, of course, you know, a lot of stuff happening. But more importantly, I wanted to make sure for this style of riding, similar to skateboarding, similar to bicycling, we didn't just incarcerate it, but focus on programming and people. And that's what led us to this. I love I love the bikes up guns down. That's I, I've never heard that. That's amazing. How did how did you get involved when you I know you grew up in Baltimore. So did, were you a part of this culture when you were younger? So I always tell people I'm born, raised, and never leaving Baltimore. It gives me the most strength, the most comfort. And I was one of the kids that was watching riders in the parks, pop willies, fix and repair their bikes. But I don't like to fall. Um, so I <laughs> fell one too many times. And I was like, yeah, that's not for me. Um, instead, I was watching Bill Not a Science Guy on TV. So I convinced my parents as a first grader to give me my first chemistry set. I blew my eyebrows off. So there's like pictures of me <laughs> where I have no eyebrows. <laughs> I blew oh people God. to the chair. I created stink bombs. <laughs> You know, that was me, a mad scientist, evil genius as a kid. Um, but I was really enamored by, like, STEM, but it wasn't that term at the time. And then at 19, I finally entered the industry. So I've done anything from, like, planetary research science to working for, like, McCormick, NASA, Hopkins. Um, and I sound wow. a little old saying that. Um, so just a lot of different stuff. Yes, being a guest lecturer at Yale, which is really important then doing programming. And for me, I wanted to get more black people and then more black girls into this field because that was like the evil genius working again of how can I make sure that more people see representation. And then by 2016, I had four jobs. I was still doing engineering, like asset management, working in higher education. I was a teacher. And then I had just launched B360 all at one time. Wow, so you like a challenge, Brittany. <laughs> So for people under 16, we teach them how to build, design, and 3D print little model-sized dirt bikes, like this one in my corner, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and then if you're over 16, we make sure that we employ you, you get a job. So it's not me teaching the classes, and I get to be on Kelly Clarkson's show, you know, but people <laughs> are actually running programming <laughs> in schools, after-school programming. Um, and it's been 7,000 kids so far. It's been 30 plus dirt bike rides and growing. And what I'm most proud of is how we're changing the narrative, shifting the culture, but representing like the best of Baltimore and where we can go to lead this conversation all across the country. And I always say like the riders took a risk on me. You know, it was their trust that let us get this far. And I believe in them and I'll, my life work is to just keep showing people how smart they are. And so I appreciate them so much. I think that it's brilliant taking science and applying it where it's already actually happening and kids aren't actually realizing that it's happening. They're not, they're not realizing that they're actually a part of science. I think it, there's such a disconnect um, in the classrooms with like, 
what people actually love to do, like what kids like actually love to do. I think it's brilliant what you're doing, don't you? It's incredible. Yeah, I was like, I would have never thought to like pair the two. I literally was like, what am I talking about today? <laughs> and then I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. And I, I'm just really impressed. And you've come a long way from blowing off your eyebrows. I just have to say, you know, <laughs> Thank you. I mean, Thank way you. to go. Yes, Thank you back. <laughs> Also joining us right now are Mike and Duran, who have participated in B360. So Mike, I'm gonna start with you. Hey guys. Um, so Mike, you, you grew up riding dirt bikes, right? Yes, um, I grew up riding dirt bikes. I first started riding dirt bikes on my own when I was about five years old. It was um, just a tradition to just ride. I seen my family ride. I think, okay, you know, that's fun. I started riding on my own. You know, I see it as an outlet to free my mind till my problems go away and not think about anything. Yeah. So at 17, I started working with Brittany. Um, we intersected the two lanes, which is STEM and dirt biking. So I become a learning instructor for the program, teaching kids how do the lanes intersect. So basically, science is technically, you know, the creation of your outline of your bike, your technologies, your battery, your operation, your power. Your engineering is basically your engine specifications, how fast you wanted to go, what do you want it to do that someone else's bike doesn't do. So basically in Baltimore, it's just, they, you know, it's just something you do that you love. It's, I don't understand how it's something that they criminalize. Um, we basically love riding dirt bikes, but they criminalize it, but it's not criminalized for them to, you know, do races and do shows and do stunts everywhere else. But we don't have a space. We don't have an opportunity. I don't think people really understand basically where we're coming from and like you know what are we doing to just do it we don't want to just be harmful in the streets committing crimes no we don't have we don't really have anywhere to ride hmm. um it's it's crazy you yeah, know if well, you can do stunts and you can do races why can't we do rides if why can't crazy we have if crazy means wrong then yes um that yeah that seems not, not fair um well Durant, how has b360 changed your outlook well like i'm 14 so like the things that I get to do is like a blessing because like Miss Young and Mike, they taught me a lot from like from being young and didn't really have nothing. It's like dirt bike just always been my passion. And like, cause my brother and my dad, they ride dirt bikes. And like when I met Miss Young, cause she was our tech teacher at my school. And like, she was breaking it down to me. Cause I told her that I like to ride dirt bike. She was breaking it down to me, letting me know like, do you know that dirt bikes is a form of engineering? And she was like, do you know what you want to be in life? And I said, no, but I then I put two and two together. I said, I think I want to be an engineer because I like deep bikes. And I like building, I like building things cool and 3D printing and stuff like that. So it just, uh, it just came to me from that. I love that. So you didn't even know that you were a part of science. Like, you know, you just happen to love what you're doing. And I think that that's brilliant that Brittany is showing you all that. And I know that we have two guys here today, but Brittany, you also have girl dirt bike riders too, right? Yes. Um, girls do ride too, not me because I don't like to fall. Um, but a <laughs> lot of girls ride. Um, and that's really important, you know, because in STEM, we're underrepresented. In dirt bike, we're underrepresented too. But I know that the skills we're giving girls, and hopefully, you know, I'll have a daughter and she'll have the option to be a dirt bike rider, engineer, and so much more. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing more women, seeing more black women in this industry and us lead in that conversation. Um, because, yeah, it's not going anywhere. We just have to make sure we keep transitioning people out of traffic. And then with girls and women, you know, we lead everything well. And I would argue maybe girls ride better. Ah. Um, so I'm excited <laughs> for it. But I think that what's cool about it, though, is it's such a positive thing and such a fun thing. And, and, and for the community to have that going on, like you said earlier, like bikes up, guns down. Like it's such a positive thing and it could have such a great ripple effect in y'all's community if, if you know, the city, everybody got behind y'all and, and really created a place that you can go. I know there's a place not too far from here where you can literally just go and ride dirt bikes and it's like a whole thing. And it's, it's a great outlet for people. Everybody likes to, you know, chill out, relax, like space out in different ways. I think it's really cool what y'all like to do. Um, and, and Brittany, we are so impressed with what you're doing. So we reached out to Pennzoil, the first motor oil made from natural gas, and they're inspired by your mission to support young adults pursuing careers through STEM and are donating $10,000 to B360. How's that sound? Yes. Well, that helped. <laughs> 
Yes, that would definitely help. Okay, sure. good. That is really a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I know somebody else that maybe yeah. could help. I'm just saying, I'm calling him out. I'm a, I like to embarrass people too, but our Baltimore affiliate is here, Jerome from WBAL Channel 11. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. So I'm just saying, maybe <laughs> Jerome, we can hook up some, some interviews, help get this city someplace to ride some dirt bike. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.